This is why drivers are quitting Dollar General every day. So let's just uh, let's just jump right into it, man. Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Dollar General, man. Let's let's just talk about that right quick. Don't get suckered, man. You know, do not get suckered in to Dollar General. And I'm here to tell you why. Let's go back, back in the time where trucking was just what it was. Driver driving the truck to drop the load and pick up the load wherever it may be. Here come these companies that needs a contract to move their freight from their DCs to their up and coming stores throughout America. These stores are Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and others. These dollar stores are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and carrying more and more and more items. So they need a logistics type deal to get their products from the DCs to the stores. Now at the time they was they came to the table and they came to the top mega carriers. Swift, Prime, US Express, Hogan, and the rest of them. Uh wait, there's one more. I can't remember the name, but them too. I think Martin. Yeah, this yeah, Martin too. So they came to all these accounts and all these mega carriers is negotiating how how much they going to, you know, how much they going to charge to move their freight. With that said, somebody in their in in their awful ass mind during the negotiations say, hey, not only we can move your products for this price, but we'll sweeten the deal by letting our drivers unload the trailers. And then that's how now these dollar accounts are billed as. Driver unload, driver, uh, driver unload, driver to the, uh, you know, to the stores. Now, see, that's crazy. Now, fast forward to 2014, 2015, a young lockout man goes to school, gets his license, pass. Now he's a CDL holder. He's not a driver yet. He's just a holder of the CDL, not a driver yet. So on the very last day of school, you know, they have what you call quote unquote career days. And that's when these recruiters from all these companies come in and try to recruit you into the company. Well, one company, U.S. Express, came in, poured the sugar, stirred it up and made, you know what I'm saying? And, and made the company look better than what it actually was. Sign me up. Lockout men said. Sign me up. Oh, we'll start you at 35 cents a mile. You'll get your you you get to go home whenever you want. And you will uh, you, you you know, this, that, and the third, every day. Sign me up, a young lockout man said. So lockout men got signed up. Uh, about a week later, he went to the um orientation, and that's where reality starts to set in at the orientation well we got these different divisions and with these divisions you have to you know you you can choose from division one over the road period no ifs ands or buts about it no no it's just what it is over the road division two is like the Walmarts, the Majors, the, you know, the companies like, you know, companies like that where, 
you know, you can drive regional and you could be home, you know, either every other day or home every weekend and it's a day cab. Okay. And then the final division, the dollar accounts. Now here how here's how or the the instructors during orientation bills this account. Well, here we go. Uh you get your miles, you get paid for the stops. You do about three, you do about three stops a day, a day now, a day. You do about three top three stops a day. You get paid for your your miles and you get paid for the trailer. Now, what they mean by paid by the trailer is you emptying the trailer from top to bottom, front to back. And that's about $150 give or take maybe two but it was 150 when they was trying to impress people to do that uh to do that option a young lockout sat down and looked while they was explaining and they was talking about the money the money this the money that the money 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 how much money you could get you can get about $1,500 a week. That's net because you're going to gross maybe about 17, six, about 16, 17. So your net is going to be about $1,500 a week. You're still going to get the money, money, money. But they also build this too. They say you can get a workout while you're working. Okay, let me let me just interject right there. Hold up, lockout. Let me let me come in and interject. Who the hell want to work out while they working? I mean, I can understand if you turn around and say, "Well, we'll offer a gym membership, like to Planet Fitness or or any other gyms in America." But who the hell want to work out while they working? Okay, all right, lockout. You can come back. So that's how they build everything. They build that with the money and all that other good stuff. But here's the reality of everything, man. Right? When you go to the DCs to get loaded, them people at the motherfucking DCs don't give a fuck how they load them trucks. Because if they did, they would put, they would put your considerations as a driver in mind. You open up them trailer doors and all that shit just falls the fuck out. They pack that shit. And when you open them trailer doors, it all falls out and you had to pick it up. You, you, solo, driver, no help, picking it up and putting it on, on some type of conveyor belt and toss it in. Now, the people of the stores, nah, they don't help. They don't lift a hand. They don't do shit. Only thing they do is, you know, put the stuff up where it needs to go in the store. But as far as coming out there, giving you a hand in the truck. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. See, they don't tell you that shit at the orientation. They don't tell you that you have to you you have to unload front top to bottom, front to back by yourself in the heat, in the snow, in the rain. They don't tell you that shit. What they do tell you is, oh, you can get about fifteen hundred dollars a week, and you get and you can get a workout while you work uh, while you doing that, bro. You be tired as fuck. Like if you go home on the end of the week, you be too damn tired to be doing anything. You're not even you 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 don't even have no strength to do babe work. And what I mean by babe work, you know, go outside, cut the lawn. Or do some housework and all like that. No, bro, you're going to go home and get in that bed and not wake back up until Monday morning when you go back to work. That's what I'm talking about. They don't tell you that shit. They don't tell you that you're going to be freaking tired. They don't tell you that, but they'll tell you that you get $1,500 a week, though. You get $150 for the trailer. You get You get paid for every stop. You get your miles, but they don't tell you the work that goes into it. And then you got some drivers that they'll, they'll pluck out of whatever. 
probably probably somebody that's not even a driver to come and be like, yes, my name is such and such, and I'm a Dollar General driver. I used to look like this, a fat ass slob, to now he's like fit and fit, fit and trim or whatever. All because of the dollar accounts. I love the dollar accounts. And they just do this little video where they pour on the milk for you, driver. All right, so let me just go ahead and just sum this up right quick. Bro, we're drivers. That's it. We're not, we're not, we're, we, we don't empty trailers. We don't get paid for that. We are CDL drivers, commercial motor vehicle drivers. Commercial driver's license doesn't, it is nowhere to be said that we are a driver and an unloader. So remember that when these companies turn around and offer you Oh, we got this account called the dollar accounts. Nah, bro, I'm good. Y'all better come back to this Lockout Men podcast and listen to what Lockout Men had to say about the dollar accounts because I guarantee you, for you guys to be all happy, happy, joy, joy, getting up in that motherfucker, y'all going to be, man, I wish I would have listened to that boy Lockout. I'm telling you, all of us that that does the dollar accounts and show you the videos that they do. Now, some of them, some of the guys that do it, you know, yeah, there is going to be a handful of people that enjoy doing the dollar accounts. I don't, you know, no shade to them. Shout out to them. But for the people that's coming in thinking that they're going to thinking that the dollar accounts is going to do this, that and the third for you, think again. Because what they tell you in the orientation is not how reality is with the dollar accounts. You're going to end up going into some places where they're going to have you backing in tight, tight, tight spots. They're going to have you going into area. They're going to have you going into urban areas where a motherfucking where a motherfucking uh. Dollar Tree or a dollar or family dollar in one of them bougie ass uh, plazas that you got to ride in the damn parking lot that you got to ride around the, the, the cars just to get the move that you got ugh, one, two, three, that you got to maneuver around cars in the parking lot where people are being inconsiderate of you won't move out your way, won't give you no type of respect. Then you got to back into tight dock areas off the street. Sometimes, majority of them, you got a fucking blind side in. There's a family dollar on my block that's off of Eddie Road in St. Clair. The only way, if you're not there in the morning, the only way to get in what used to be a CVS right there on the corner of Eddie Road in St. Clair, you have to come in off the highway and then come down Eddie Road and then come in off that side, drive all the way up on the grass to back up to a door. A door. Not a dock. A door. Okay? Then once you back up to the door, you unload and everything. And then from there, you got to drive straight onto the grass in order to get on to St. Clair. And then get out. That's the only way. So when they offer the dollar accounts to you, jeez, you better, you, you, you better think twice about it. That's all I have to say.